The 2014 Hyundai Equus is a high-performance premium luxury sedan that I promise you will make you think twice about judging a car simply based on the badge it wears. Hello and welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson. So glad you're watching. By the way, check out the all-new Everyman Driver podcast, now available on iTunes and Stitcher Smart Radio. Give it a listen and let us know what you think. The Equus comes in two trim levels, the Signature and the Ultimate. My tester is the Ultimate and there is tons to cover, so let's get started now by popping the hood. The 2014 Equus is powered by a 5-liter gasoline direct injection dual overhead cam V8 mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission with Shiftronic and its rear-wheel drive. Not the best in these wintry conditions. It has three driving modes, normal, sport, and snow. More on that in just a moment. As far as horsepower numbers, there are two based on the type of fuel you use. 429 with premium and 421 horses with regular unleaded. There's also a split on the torque, 376 with premium and 365 pound-feet with regular. Now the trade-off with all this power is MPGs. The Equus is estimated to get 15 miles per gallon in the city and up to 23 on the highway, which happens to be the same as the 2014 Dodge Challenger, just to give you some perspective. Now I've logged more than 350 miles in the car this week. With a good mix of highway and city driving, I've averaged 19.7 miles per gallon. Those are real-world numbers, which in my opinion is outstanding. All right, time for some real world headroom and legroom here in the back of the Equus. And this is phenomenal. First of all, here's my driver's position on 511. And the legroom is a joke, meaning there is so much room back here. Well, it's almost like you can get a second person back here. It's so crazy. Headroom is more than enough as well. You can get someone back here who is over six feet tall and have no problem. In fact, the Equus has more legroom, headroom, and shoulder room in the front and rear seats than the Lexus LS 460. This is the best backseat passenger layout I've ever experienced, hands down. Now, you might think the best seat in the house is here behind the wheel, and it probably is, but the second best seat in the house is next to me here in the back behind the passenger. The busy executive, as well as the couple heading out of town, will feel right at home back here. And the ambiance begins with this leather upholstery, microfiber suede headliner, genuine wood trim, which all showcase the richness of the Equus interior. And these seats are fully adjustable with plenty of width and support. You have heating and cooling devices located in the seat backs and bottom cushions. And this control panel here in the middle allows you to adjust these individual 9 9.2 inch rear seat entertainment monitors which do not come with wireless headphones which is a big oversight in my opinion. If you're not behind the wheel of the 2014 Equus, this is why you might want to opt for this seat inside the car. First of all, bring down the armrest which has your control panel we talked about and you're getting ready for that long road trip. Why don't you just press the relax button and see what happens to the front passenger seat. It slides forward really far and now the back seat leans back. Oh, this is luxury. The best seat in the house if you're not behind the wheel. There are three ways to open the trunk lid of the 2014 Hyundai Equus. There is a push button just left of the driver. There's a button here in the key fob. There's also a black pad here. Press that and up comes your lid. And here's something you usually see on an SUV, which is nice to see on this car, is a push button here along the inside. Press that, it'll come down automatically when you're all said and done. Now the cargo area looks bigger than it really is. 16.7 cubic feet of volume, which is more than enough room, which I think is also adequate and appropriate appropriate for this size vehicle. But I did bring my very stylish Italian designer two-piece luggage set, which has become a big hit among some of my subscribers. Slide them in, and you can see they fit no problem. In fact, if you had two larger sizes, they would fit back here as well. Now, just below the floorboard is where you'll find your spare tire and jack kit. In fact, it's two layers. You have to pull up two different spots to see it. You even have a personalized Hyundai first aid kit here on the inside. So when it comes to cargo room and trunk space inside the 2014 Hyundai Equus, I think you'll be very happy with it. From the outside, the enhancements for 2014 convey a premium sport design message. Starting with a new 19-inch turbine blade alloy wheel design in a polished silver finish. The front grille chrome bars are thinner, 
with sharper contrast to the blackened out portions of the grille for a sportier look. The front fascia also has been redesigned, with the former chrome accents removed in favor of a modern premium appearance. The headlamps offer jewel design elements and include chrome contrasted with blackout finish for a distinctive appearance as well. And new LED fog lamps are now standard. Side mirrors have been redesigned for enhanced aerodynamics and tail lamp graphics moved to a more horizontal theme. On the inside, the entire instrument panel and center stack have been redesigned with more premium materials and an ergonomically correct layout and new button iconography for quicker and easier feature recognition. The center console and shift lever reveal more premium material selection and contemporary premium luxury design cues. Steering wheel control layout has been improved as well with new low sheen button designs and icons. Similarly, as we saw earlier, rear passengers now enjoy a rear console and button layout. So how's it feel behind the wheel? In a word, luxurious. The driving dynamics have been revised with sport and normal modes, each taking on a more differentiated ride and handling character. The air suspension was recalibrated, sport mode receives more controlled dampening, while normal mode receives slightly enhanced ride comfort while retaining a well-controlled handling demeanor. And the front suspension bushings were also revised to enhance suspension function. For drivers dealing with wintry conditions like we're having here in the Inland Northwest, never fear, a new snow mode is here. And this function was added for both safety and ease of control in some of those more difficult driving conditions, and it works like a dream. In fact, I drove from Spokane to Schweitzer Mountain, which is just north of Sandpoint, Idaho, the largest ski resort in all of Idaho and Washington. And even in this rear wheel drive, I had no issues. I was very happy with that. So whether I'm driving on some winding country roads or through the mountains or even in the city, driving inside the Equus is very smooth. I love it. Here's something I know you'll like. All Equus driver interface displays have been improved for 2014 with a larger 7-inch LCD center cluster display for signature models, a large 12.3-inch fully digital LCD center cluster display for ultimate models, and a larger standard 9.2-inch center instrument panel LCD display. The climate control system now offers three distinct cabin temperature zones for driver, passenger, and the rear passengers. Ultimate models now feature an automatic power door closure assist function. Once a door manually approaches full closure, a power function slowly and quietly ensures the door is fully secure for your peace of mind. Also on the Ultimate model, both rear outboard passengers now have power lumbar support. Let's talk some safety technologies now. A new blind spot detection system is now standard with blind spot vehicle alerts in either mirror. On the Ultimate model, a high visibility heads up display provides vehicle speed, navigation turn by turn instructions, and smart cruise control indicators, to name a few. And when parking or navigating, the Equus Ultimate now offers a multi view camera system that provides an aerial view of the vehicle with split screen vehicle perspectives for optimized visibility and safety. In addition, all models now include a rear cross traffic alert to help alert drivers to vehicles crossing their path when backing up. Back with us is Melissa, our Every Woman driver, to talk about this 2014 Hyundai Equus Ultimate. And this really is the ultimate luxury vehicle, which really surprises both of us because it's a Hyundai and you don't associate at least this price point with Hyundai, right? Yeah, I'm so pumped up about this car. It's so awesome. I think Hyundai, when they first came on the scene, it was just more about the 100,000 mile warranty, you know, a cheaper car, but you get a great warranty. This car still has the 100,000 100, mile warranty, but this car is just badass. Uh, talk about some of the things that stand out to you in terms of upgrades. I think it looks really nice aesthetically. It's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful car. 
I honestly don't have a complaint about this, but I can't afford a $70,000 car. So it's hard. I mean, I, I don't know who's buying this car. I don't know if someone who can afford this car would go for a Hyundai. You know, they might buy a BMW or something. But I mean, for $70,000, this car, it leaves nothing to be desired. I really think there's not one thing about this car that I don't like. What always comes back to me is the badge. People care about what badge is on the vehicle. Do you? I think it does matter, yeah, because when I first saw the front of this car, I thought it was really cool that, the nothing against Hyundai, but there is just a little bit of a negative connotation with it for me. I, I've never driven a Hyundai myself, but I like this Equus symbol, so it's a different emblem, and I think they should have continued that through the entire car, even on the rear of the car because they have the Hyundai symbol at the very back. But when I was driving this, people would just rubberneck at me, you know, looking, what is that car? You sure they weren't looking at you? <laughs> no, they were looking at the car, just staring at the car. And when I walked into a store, people are asking me, what kind of car is that? So it gets a lot of attention for sure. It's a very sharp looking car. But the thing that stands out, and I think we both noticed this, rear wheel drive. That is interesting for a sedan like this. Um, maybe, I know that BMWs, most are rear wheel drive, so maybe they were just looking for a sportier drive. Um, but it does surprise me. I, I, I always prefer a front wheel drive vehicle for myself, just because I do live in snowy conditions. But it wouldn't, if I had 70 grand, it wouldn't stop me from buying this car because I would just have this one in the garage in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> so if you were to uh, rate this car on a scale of one to 10, what would you give it? Gosh, this is pretty close. This is pretty close to the top of the crop, I think. Take into account, you don't like the fact that it's rear wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, I I guess there are some, some minor negatives. Um, so I would have to say it's a nine. Ooh, still give it a nine. So it's a solid nine. Solid nine. Can I have a number, a card number, please? <laughs> That's right. And some applause. Cue the applause. <laughs> All right, that sounds good. Again, a big thank you to Melissa, our Every Woman Driver, for her thoughts and impressions on the 2014 Hyundai Equus. To hear the full, detailed, extended version of this conversation, be sure to listen to the Every Man Driver podcast, now available on iTunes and Stitcher Smart Radio. And check her out on the Every Woman Driver YouTube channel. Got my own channel. The beginning MSRP here in the 2014 Hyundai Equus is 61 grand. That's for the signature trim level. My tester, the Ultimate, has $7,000 of added features, so it is 68 grand. That seems like a lot of money for a Hyundai, but when compared to a similarly equipped Lexus or Mercedes Benz, it's a steal. It is worth a look and a test drive. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching.